102.5 WDVE, where Pittsburgh rocks. Ma, 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 cita, donde esta Santa Claus? Navato with a bony knees, he's coming down the street with no shoes and his feet, and he's going to... No, no, that ain't it. Ma, 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 cita, donde esta Santa Claus? The guy with the hair on his jaws, he... nah. Hey, man, come over here, man, I need some help, man. Yeah, man, I can dig that. Like, uh, what are you doing, man? I'm um, trying to write a song about Santa Claus, man, but it's not coming about out. About who, man? Uh, about Santa Claus, man. You know Santa Claus, Oh, man. yeah, man. I played yeah, with those dudes, out, man. What? Yeah, last year at the Fillmore, man. Me and you the bass player sat man. in, man. Oh, oh hey, man, you think Santa Claus is a groove, huh? No, it's not a groove, man. Would they break up, man? Oh, no, man, it's one guy, man. You know, he had, he had a red suit on, man, with black pant leather shoes. You know the guy, man? Oh, uh, yeah. He's with Motown, ain't he? No, man. Yeah, he's I played not... with that dude, oh, too, man. No, yeah, he's man. a good singer, man. No, no, hold on, man. He's not with Motown, man. Well, then he's with Buddha, man. No, no, man. You don't know who Santa Claus is, man. Yeah, well, I'm not from here, man. Like, I'm from Pittsburgh, man. I don't know too many local dudes. Oh, I see. Well, hey, man, sit back and relax, and I'll tell you the story about Santa Claus, man. Listen. Once upon a time, about mm, five years ago, there was this groovy dude, and his name was Santa Claus, you know? And he used to live over in the projects with his old lady. And they had a pretty good thing together because his old lady was really fine, and, and she could cook and all that stuff like that, you know? Like, she made the best brownies in town, man. Oh, I could remember them now, man. I could eat one of them, man. Wow, did you know these people, man? Oh, yeah, man. They used to live next door to me, you know, until they got kicked out, man. I think I kicked out of the projects, man. Yeah, you know what happened, man? They used to live with all these midgets, you know? And the midgets used to make a lot of noise, you know, like pounding and hammering and pounding all night, man. Well, Typical freaks. Oh, man. yeah, man. They were really freaks, man. As a matter of fact, they all moved up north together, you know? Oh, they have to go get their head together, man. <laughs> yeah, get their head together. And they started a, a commune, you know? It was called the uh, Santa Claus and His Old Lady Commune. It was a real famous one up there, man. And, and they used to sit around and groove all the time, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really good time, man. Yeah, that sounds the, heavy. Yeah, eat the brownies, man, and drink that tea, man. And, man, what they did most of the time, though, was make a lot of goodies, you know? Oh, yeah. And they had everything they needed. They only needed to come into town maybe once a year or something like that. Pick up the welfare check and the food stamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, what they did, man, is once a year, when they made all the goodies, you know, they used to put them in a big chopping bag, and then they used to take the chopping bag and deliver them to all the boys and girls all the way around the world, man. Hey, well, that's it, man. Yeah, that sounds real nice. Oh, yeah, they were really nice people, man. And so much class, man. They had so much class, you know, like, like even take the way they used to deliver the toys, you know. It's like Santa Claus used to have this really sharp short, man, you know. It was lowered to the ground at twice pipes, guns, apple red, and button talk. Ooh, clean. Yeah, that sounds like a hip snowmobile, man. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a snowmobile. It was a sled, you know. One of those big sleds, you know? And he, and he used to have it pulled by some reindeers, you know, like reindeers? Some what? Man? Some reindeers, you know? He used to hook them onto the sled, and then he used to stand up inside the sled and hold onto the reins, and then call out their names, like, On Donner, On Blissen, On Chewy, On Tabo, come on, Beto! And then the reindeers used to take off into the sky and fly across the sky, man. Wow, man, that's far out, man. <laughs> yeah, and then when they fly across the sky, they used to come down to places like Joe Chicago, L.A., Nueva York, and Pacoima, and all those places, you know, and then land on top of people's roofs, and then old Santa Claus would make himself real small, you know, like a real small guy, and he'd come down the chimney, and then he would give you all the stuff that he made, man, and do this, man, he did it all in one night, man. Hey, just a minute, man, now how'd he do that, man? Oh, well, man, he took the freeway, how else, man? No, man, <laughs> no, man. how did he do all that other stuff, man? Like, how'd he make himself small, man? And how'd he, like, how'd he get the reindeer off the ground, man? Oh, well, man, he had some magic dust, man. Some magic dust? Yeah, magic dust. You know, he used to give a little bit to the reindeer, a little bit to Santa Claus, a little bit more for Santa Claus, a little bit more. And this would get the reindeer off, man? Oh, got him off, man. Are you kidding, man? They flew all the way around the world, man. <laughs> hey, that's far out, man. Hey, how come I've never met this dude, man? 
Oh, man, he doesn't do that bit anymore, man. It got too dangerous. Man. Yeah, I can dig that, man, because that's a dangerous bit. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, it sure was, man. Like, just two years ago, man, he got stopped at the border, you know, and they took him into another room and took off his clothes, man, and searched him and searched his bag of goodies, man. And then when he was leaving, man, he was flying through the air, somebody took a shot at his reindeer, you know? Oh, that's a drag. Yeah, it really was, man. And then, man, he went down south, man, and they tried to cut off his hair and his beard, man. And all the time he was getting stopped, and pull over and ask for his ID, man. Just, just everywhere he went, he ran into too much recession, man. No, man, you mean he ran into too much repression, man. Our repression, recession, man. It's all the same thing, man. Yeah, man. But it's a drag, man, because we could sure use a dude like that right now. You know, oh, he still comes around, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but, but he comes in disguises now. Oh, he went underground. Yeah, underground, man. Yeah, I can dig it. Yeah. yeah, but you want to see his disguise, man. Nobody would ever know it was him, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a job in front of the department store, ringing this bell and playing this tambourine next to this black pot, you know? Oh, I seen the dude. Yeah, man. you know who I'm talking about, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I played with that guy yeah, last year, man. What? Yeah, we played in front of a store, man. We made a lot of Oh, bread. hey, wait a minute, man. Santa Claus is not a musician, man. I'm hip, man. I can't do any tunes, man. Oh. Scott Paulson on DVE. Roy Hale.